Hi, this is Aoud JPY and today it's Monday, 7th of July 2014 and the time is 1616 uh, GMT. We are looking at the age 4 time frame of the pair. Um, I'm Sofia Stavropoulou and this is a video signal for Forex ID Academy members and FX Holics Forex Signals apps users. The three uh, the the systems I'm using for this um, uh, on this chart are Ichimoku Kinko Hio, Bollinger Bands, Fractals, Bill Williams Syndicator, and the oscillator which is called Stochastics on a separate pane on its own. So I am looking for a while now for a nice long entry here at the lower Bollinger Band because as a rule of thumb um, uh, even if the pair is trending or ranging uh, this particular pair looks like ranging for a while um, we look for short entries on the upper Bollinger Band and long entries to buy at the lower Bollinger Band the key point here is to make sure that it will not go lower before you enter, before you buy, or on the upper Bollinger Band to make sure that it will not go higher before you short the pair, before you sell it. Okay, so um, let's go to the bigger time frames to have a, 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 a most uh, general idea of how things look like for this pair. On the daily time frame we see that uh, um, the the Kumo has been horizontal for a while, the pair has been in a consolidation mode uh, and uh, uh, going up and down um, uh, around the axis, the hub of the Kumo um, after uh, a very strong uptrend, it, it has been ranging for a while um, but, but biases are bullish uh, on the weekly time frame we see that the pair made um, uh, approached the median Bollinger Band in an effort to make a statistical validation plunge uh, before it continues higher and we say that because we see that the leading Kumo although it's a flat top and uh, belly down although the belly is a bit flat too we see that the bullish momentum uh, has been has remained stable and that's the predominant momentum for now so uh, the inclination of the median Bollinger Band also uh, shows that um, biases are more bullish than bearish and also the fact that we had a bullish price and consent cross here let me magnify the, the chart so I will insert a shape and uh, we see that here we had this strong bullish price and consent cross on the weekly time frame uh, one, two, three, four, five weeks ago. Okay, uh, the pair remains above the Tenkan Sen, the red line of Ichimoku Kinko Hio. Uh, and even if it wants to approach the median Bollinger Band to make its validation, uh, it will still remain uh, above Tenkan Sen as things look like now. So I'm going, I'm zooming out. I will remove this and let's go to the monthly time frame. On the monthly time frame, we see that the pair has been balancing on the median Bollinger Band for a while and it uh, formed two um, sequential uh, uh, swing lows below the median Bollinger Band. This is a huge, huge and very powerful bullish continuation pattern. Okay, it shows that the pair not only wants to go up, it wants to fly. Okay, but be very careful because even uh, minor statistical uh, validation plunges um, uh, when we are in the range of a monthly uh, move, uh, they mean hundreds of pips and do you don't want to, to lose them. So, 
the leading kuma has a very strange uh, shape here. Uh, it is uh, horizontal, the end is not sharp, it's rounded, but the momentum, the bullish momentum, is uh, slightly increasing. Uh, the Bollinger Bands are in a contraction phase, approaching each other, and we assume that uh, an expansion will follow and it will be upwards because uh, stochastics although they are inside overbought zone they want to go even higher they are slightly angled up so big things are going to happen here so uh, back to the H4 time frame I will zoom in because I want you to see a very nice candlestick pattern here we have this candlestick in the middle which is a doji it's like a cross it is a very critical reversal uh, candlestick when it is found at the end of a wave if it is found uh, at the top we expect a bearish reversal we expect the price to fall if it is found uh, at the bottom like here we expect a bullish reversal we expect the price to go higher so um, which is the critical uh, point which is the criterion to to to, to uh, assume that uh, yes we will have a reversal we want it to be followed by a bullish candlestick uh, in this particular case I would rather tell you advise you to wait till you see this bullish candlestick which is forming now on this H4 uh, 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 candlestick till you see it crossing and closing uh, crossing and closing above Tenkan Sen which is the red line of Ichimoku Kinko Hill okay uh, you have stochastics confirming this uh, let's count uh, how many uh, signals how many um, messages we get from our indicators from our technical analysis tool uh, tools if we have a confluence here confluence means uh, many indicators many tools saying the same thing okay confirming uh, from different uh, aspects the same thing so first of all we have the candlestick which is a number one indicator because it's the price action it's the first and the it, it, it's a leading indicator the price leads and everything else follows okay uh, we had a bearish candlestick followed by a, by um, uh, a doji a cross doji and now we have uh, a bullish candlestick and um, it is early to to say whether it will have a big body or not but uh, as long as it remains bullish uh, it's a sign that uh, we are for an upward move the next element is uh, our stochastics uh, stochastics are turned upwards are angled upwards at least the first one um, this is uh, another goal uh, sign now we would like to see one more and that is uh, the cross the price cross with Tenkan Sen and one more and that is a down fractal here so I advise you to be patient wait till you see a fractal here a down fractal here like this one like this one wait till you see a bullish price Tenkan Sen cross followed by a bullish candlestick and uh, then you can enter long you can buy you can place your stop loss um, let me see on the daily um, it's fine if you place your stop loss below this down fractal here 20 or 30 pips below it uh, this is at the 95.14 price level 30 pips below it uh, but be flexible with your stop loss okay and back to H4 and take profit target a nice take profit target at, at the first place 
um, is uh, when the price approaches the median border, but it looks like it will go uh, uh, above it. Um, see what stochastics are doing when that happens. If they agree that the price wants to go up, stay in and follow the, the, the move till the upper Bollinger Band. Place your short-term take profit target um, 10 pips below the upper Bollinger Band here, which will be, which is at Kijun Sen, the blue line of uh, Ichimoku Kinko Hyo system uh, level now, and it's at 95.89. So 10 pips below that you can place your short-term take profit target. And again, use stochastics as your guide. What do I mean? I mean that maybe when the price will be up here, stochastics may go above the 80 level line and they can be in the overbought zone. Be very careful because the price may make a spike above the upper uh, Bollinger Band and then you may see stochastics turned downwards, like here, curved, ready to cross below it 11 line. In that case, they, they will signify that it's a correction time. Get out. Wait for the correction and enter when everything is bullish again with as many, as, uh, as many signals as possible uh, agreeing on that with being in confluence for your next entry. Thanks for watching and happy pips.